So I have just copied all the images which I have taken of an object which is here is a mini. So it's uh, the, the posture of a mini and I have taken the images from all the angles from front to side and from top from top and from right side right top and like from every side where I can take the images I have, I have just taken the images so you need to take the images uh, in from all the directions okay and now what I need to do let's go to like a soft meta shape standard software so you can download this um, from Google of MetaShape and go to the go to their website and you can get a one month free trial version. Okay, so this is the interface and I have 27 days left for the trial version. So be sure that uh, you should start the trial version because if it is not a trial version, you are not able to save the file or you are not going to export the the model. Okay, so we have the photos and the photos are in this PC videos and this 3D mini folder. Right. Now, uh, this is the interface of the Agisoft software. Over here you can see this option add photos. So click on that. And let's go to this PC, its videos and 3D mini. Now, select all by pressing Ctrl A from your keyboard click on open so it has opened that 129 images that I have captured from my mobile device so these are the images now we need to align these images so for that go to workflow and click on this align photos and you can select the options over here which is generic pre-selection we want the accuracy high and uh, the accuracy should be estimated or sequential that's up to you let's choose sequential because it will go for sequence by sequence and click on ok so it will take some time to align the, the photos that we have captured to form a 3d model so as you can see in the jobs window it says that like the project is untitled the current task is aligning photos it is the status is it is matching the points and over here it shows how much amount of progress has been done for the current project so it is going on and let's wait for some time and over here as you can see it says that around five minutes is left so we have to wait for five to six minutes and then see Okay, so it has make a build dense cloud. Now we are going to build mesh using this build mesh option. So click on build mesh and um, we want tap map and quality you can make as per your convenience log or as per your first of all it depends on uh, what processor you have. So based on that you can choose the, the quality uh, if uh, if you have a high processor then it's fine you can go for ultra high otherwise medium is, is fine or high is fine so let me take medium uh, let me take quality high and face count as also high and click on ok and then this is the overall progress which have it take place up to half of that and the building model uh, like the the building model process which is the build mesh is going on it will take around 20 minutes which is very huge because it is very large as i used the the high quality of mesh so let's wait for this when it gets completed and then we can move forward okay so as you can see the mesh has been built and our 3d model has appeared but the roughness is very pretty high so the smoothness is very low roughness is very high and as you can see this circle on this uh, on the center so if you click on this and then if you like if you if, if you click and hold the left mouse key you can rotate this okay so like this i can rotate my 3d object that has been matched and from right hand 
uh, from right click of the mouse you can just move the the object so the right button of mouse will move the object and the left mouse mouse button will rotate the object okay so now the next thing is that we need to build the texture so click on build texture and uh, provide the options for for your or texture so let's say I just want all this and in advanced I enable the whole filling and ghost filter and then click on ok and then it will make the texture for your 3d object and it will modify your 3d object in more impactful manner so that the smoothness and the curves and the which are and the unfilled holes get filled so this is the last step the where you want to apply the texture to your 3d model and again it will take some time and let's see it is saying that it will take around um, it's elapsed done it is not stable so let's wait and then we can move over so as you can see after the texture the 3d model is more detectable and having more resolution however as you can see over here the model has a large number of holes inside so that is due to the error which we got from initially that some of the images are not uh, able to get fixed at some particular location so I try to fix this it says it's finished but it is an A that means it, I think it's non applicable so that's how you can make the, the 3d model uh, depending on the efficiency of your photos you can get the resolution of the model the last thing is that uh, this is the build texture and uh, the last thing is that after that you can export this so go to export and click on export texture and wherever you want to save this file so I am saving these documents then write the file name and click on save and click on ok it will save that and let's go to documents So as you can see 3d mini it has this jpg file that we have saved now we also want the d object file and mtl file so for that let's go to and then we can go to export model it will save as a obj wavefront or 3d as model but whatever uh, the extension you want for 3d printing okay so you can save the model for printing using wavefront obj or 3d as model let's select obj and click on save and give the name for for that so 3d mini and then save so now it will ask me what parameters I want so one jpg texture all that is fine click on ok and now it is saving this 3d model into the 3d object and you can use that object to save on various 3d platform uh, so you can use that 3d object to save on vari various platforms like this so I got this jpg file this is the obj file that I have sorry mtl file and then this is the obj file a 3d object file so that's how you can use Agisoft software to make your own 3D object by capturing photos. So, thank you.